Hey everybody, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my channel Coaching. Before all, I would like to say thank you for you all who subscribed to my YouTube channel before because I have just reached the 1000 followers. I'm very happy about it, so I will keep uploading new content to this channel. So today I would like to introduce you four React State Management solutions. The first one will be the Redux, the second, second one will be the Context API, and then I will show you the usage of the RxJS and finally the Recoil. So I will show you the usage of these four React State Management uh, solutions or libraries uh, through a very little tutorial application. I will switch between the solutions and I will use the same little tutorial application to be able to understand these uh, four uh, React State Management solutions easily. So let's get started. Okay, the first state management library that I would like to show you is the Redux. You can uh, read more about it on their official website. So this will be the simple application so we can list cars and we can delete them. It's a very, very simple tutorial application. If we refresh the page, the state reset and uh, we can see all the cars again. Okay, regarding the dependencies, we have the React Redux and Redux and Redux chunk dependencies. By the way, you can find this uh, code sandbox uh, simple applications under my YouTube video. I paste the URLs there. Okay, we are using the tank middleware, we importing our reducer, we create our reducer with combine redu reducer uh, function here. By the way, here is our reducer. We are using the load get function uh, later to get some uh, uh, props from our uh, objects and here are our actions the get car success delete car success they are dispatchable ac actions and uh, fetch cars and uh, delete car actions because of tank middleware we get back a function we where we can call our api now it's a tutorial application so so just uh, the response is hard coded so we apply the sync middleware with apply middleware on uh, the uh, on the create store function, and here in the action we can dispatch the car response, and finally it is stored in the state. So here in the reducer we are updating our state. We are using the get function of load dash, and here. Regarding the delete car, we are removing the car with the given ID from the state and we are updating the state as well. So in the delete car function, we dispatch the delete car success and we pass the ID and the reducer removes this car. And here in the app.js, we have our provider. So we pass in the store. We have to wrap every component under this provider where we would like to access the state and also the dispatch actions. We are using the connect higher order component from React Redux package. We are uh, connect the state and dispatch. So we have the map state to props and map dispatch to props. So we are using this connect higher order component around our components. And here is our selector where we get back the cars list from the state. So here we get back the cars array from the state and here we are using our fetch cars uh, action and pass in. So this connect function will pass in this uh, fetch cars and cars uh, array as prop to component and we can use the fetch cars so I get the cars within uh, use effect and here we map through our cars and uh, render our car component in this car component uh, I'm also uh, connect uh, 
the dispatch but not to the state because it's null here uh, I'm all I'm just using only the the uh, delete car uh, action here and we can delete our car so I have a remove car use callback and inside it I I'm calling the delete car uh, action so inside this delete car action we dispatch the delete car success uh, action and inside the reducer uh, we remove the car with the given ID from the state and after that you know the the state modified so the cars uh, component will be re-rendered so the car will be removed from the DOM as well okay the next one is the context API and is the same tutorial application so context API is uh, built-in functionality in react from version 16.3 so here is uh, the same tutorial application we can remove cars and list the cars and if we refresh the page we get back the three cars regarding the dependencies we haven't got any additional dependencies so the first thing we uh, that i created is the context contexts and uh, basically i created two different contexts one for the state one for the dispatch and we can uh, call this use car state context and use car dispatch context to get back our contexts and the components name is car provider we are using the user user hook here to uh, get back the state and the dispatch object and i pass them in the car state context provider and car dispatch context provider so inside the user user i pass in a reducer and initial state by the way uh, regarding the context api it's very similar to redux so we wrap our component tree with this provider and we can use the state under it and uh, the dispatch under it so we can modify the state and get back the, back the state anywhere under this provider here you can see our reducer here we have a get car success and the delete car success uh, part in the get car success we just uh, put the car list which uh, we requested from the server inside the state and uh, regarding the delete car success we remove the given car from the state here in the action we define these dispatchable types and uh, fetch cars and delete car uh, actions they are dispatching the right types and uh, it's just a tutorial application so we hard coded the response we simulate uh, that it's coming from uh, the server with a simple promise okay here in the app.js we wrap our cars with a car provider to be able to use the state and the dispatch and here in the cars I'm getting the dispatch function uh, with the use dispatch context and the cars array with the use car state context we destructuring it from the state and uh, here you can see that we are getting the state with the user user yeah and here we get our cars and uh, we are calling our fetch cars action and it will dispatch the cars into the state so we mapping through them and render a car component here we only call the delete car so we are using the dispatch as well so we are removing the given car from the state so the state will be modified and the cars will be re-rendered so the car will be removed from the dom as well so it was the context api the next one is the rxjs here is very interesting tutorial about it and also we can find uh, Reax, react rxjs uh, binding library but we will using the rxjs uh, package now so regarding the dependencies we have the rxjs here 
and uh, it will be enough to use it now. So we have this fetch cars a sync function which simulates a uh, request to the server with a simple uh, promise. It's just for this tutorial application. And we have this tor JS here. We are creating a subject. The subject could be uh, an observable or an observer as well. We have an initial state with an empty array named cars. We have our state object. We spread the initial state into onto this uh, state object initially, and here we have our car store. So we have the clear state function in it, which uh, reset the state to the initial state, and we have the subscribe. Here we uh, here our subject will be subscribed to the uh, to the state changes and we can pass in a function like set state and it will call the set state when uh, when something changed uh, on state so we have uh, get cars here we pass in the cars into the state and we have the delete car where we remove the given car from the state also the initial state uh, is on the car store object in the app.js we don't have anything like in context api or redux so we don't need to wrap anything uh, in, uh, inside uh, a provider for example here we have a use state so we get the car state and the set car state function from it we pass in the initial state by default and in the use layout effect we subscribe to uh, the state changes and we pass in the set car state uh, set function so when the state changes, we can get back the actual state in the car state. In uh, use effect, we fetch our cars and we call the get cars on our store. So the cars will be passed in the state and the subscribe will be fired and we get back our state in the car state uh, constant. Here we map to our uh, cars and render our car uh, component in the car component regarding the state it's important that we have a use callback remove car and we call the car store delete car uh, with the given id here so the car will be removed from the state and the subscriber uh, will be fired so the state will will be uh, returned here the new state and uh, the car the given car will be removed from the dom as well because the car list uh, changes i like this state management solution more than redux or context api it, it requires less coding and we can use the state anywhere where we want just with the import of the store but now let's go on and check out recoil my last state management solution for today that i would like to show you so you can find the official uh, recoil documentation here i recommend this video because it's very very useful and uh, let's get started to use it recoil is a state management library as well and now check out the dependencies so we have the recoil as uh, dependency here we have the simple tutorial application where we can delete cars and list our cars if i refre refresh the page the car list uh, resetted so we have an action here the fetch cars it simulates a request to the server with a simple promise here and the main thing is here so 
in the car state js we have the car state it's an atom each atom should have a unique key so it's cars and by default it has a, an empty array value also we have a selector here the selectors are working very similar to atoms it has a unique key and we have a get function we can uh, access the car state here and we can return the car's length so the car con state will return the car's length in the app.js we have the recoil root we have to wrap the components that that uh, we'll be using our atoms and okay in the cars we are using some hooks the user query state returns the state and uh, the set function of it so it's very similar to a uh, use state but it returns our given state and we can uh, use the set function of the state as well to modify the state so we are accessing the cars and the cars count we are rendering the cars count here if i delete a car then uh, the cars count reduced and here in the use effect i fetch our cars and i'm calling the set cars and passing the cars to it so the state will be modified and we are getting back our new uh, state the new cars list in our cars uh, constant we are rendering our cars here by mapping through them and in the car component I'm using another uh, hook the use set request state it will return only the set function of the given state here I have the remove car function I'm using the use callback hook here I'm calling the set cars and I pass in the filtered car list I filter out the given car which should be deleted so we have a new array here and we can use the old state so I can filter out the car from the old state we, we can get it in the function uh, param so I call the set cars and I'm passing in the filter that array after the state modified we can get back the new car list here and uh, after that after a re render the deleted car will be removed from the DOM as well my personal opinion about these four uh, react state management tools is that uh, i can't decide between rxjs and recoil in our real-time applications we are still using redux and uh, context api as well but uh, in the future we will try out maybe recoil or uh, rxjs recoil is very cool because uh, recoil just like redux provides a global state with recoil we don't have to pass uh, states as props down to children components in order to share them between components and once we hook up a component to any atom or selector they are subscribed to it so any update made to that piece of state will be reflected across the app to wherever is being used with recoil uh, selectors we can transform a state synchronously or asynchronously and use the derived state anywhere in our app recoil is minimal and requires no boilerplate code to get started redux is very popular but many developers still thrown at it because the amount of code they need to write to set it up okay thank you very much for watching it was my tutorial about these four react state management solutions if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel you will find many front-end and devops related content uh, on this channel in the future too so thank you very much again and have a nice day bye